Hey, it's Austin from Turbo Lab. In this video, I want to show you a APS Turbo that I did a rebuild for, and I'll show you a little bit about what I did with it. So this was the SR55. It's one of the bigger models that they have, maybe the biggest one. Originally, this turbo has a 56 millimeter compressor wheel, or 57, somewhere around there. So what I did with this model is I put in a 60-1 compressor wheel, and for me to make that possible to do that, I had to sleeve this inlet here. And I had to make a custom pipe. And then I CNC'd it out for the inducer there. And then I just machined the radius. I did the radius by hand on this one just because uh, I didn't have the radius for the wheel at the time. And I wanted to get it done as soon as possible. So that's how I did the whole compressor wheel upgrade for this one. And uh, another thing, I'll just kind of show you or tell you how hard this was to do this. Well, basically this has to be symmetrical. The plate has to be symmetrical and the housing. So I got the housing symmetrical and then the plate, it's a really tight fit from the way they send it to you because they want it to be airtight. Well, anyway, so I don't really like that idea. So what I did was I just machined it just a little bit so that it wouldn't be a press fit here. And then I put a KO3 compressor housing O-ring between this piece and the housing, and I machined this plate to accept that O-ring. That way, you can remove these bolts at any time that you want and easily take this cover off without any problems. I'd much rather have that O-ring in there than no gasket at all, which is the way that they send it to you. As for the turbine side, everything else is the same here. I just did a basic rebuild. I had to replace the whole cartridge and it probably failed because this plate was off center because somebody had siliconed it in and all this so the wheel could rub up against the housing and make just a gigantic mess another thing i had to do with this was i drilled three bolt broken bolts out and tapped them out and helicoiled one because i messed up the threads a little bit so this is what it looks like with the APS turbo that we did a rebuild for. If you have an APS turbo that you want to get rebuilt, you can always contact us at turbolabamerica at gmail.com. This compressor wheel measures 59 millimeter by 76. It's a 60-1 compressor wheel. <clears throat> this turbo is ball bearing based off the Garrett GT35R ball bearing design. So you can just see how easily that it spins, even if you just barely touch it. We also blast and paint the compressor housing to make it look really nice and keep an aluminum look finish to it rather than a corroded aluminum look, as sometimes that's what happened when when it gets wet and corrosion just starts to happen, it looks really ugly. We use our new turbine wheel, which is 55 by 60. That's the GT3076R turbine, which is the same as the 3071R turbine. There is a there is some variations of the 3071R turbines, but that's the biggest one, which also goes on the 3076. <coughs> Here's the uh, here's the ball bearing center section. It's the same one that we sell online. It's we just uh, basically I buy all the parts and I build the turbos to spec, whatever spec the customer wants, or just most of the time I'm just trying to fix the turbo. In this case, I can't get a replacement compressor wheel, so I had to machine out for a larger wheel. <clears throat> 